Hey, how's it going y'all? It's Don and today is finally the day. That's right, we are finally getting a look at Star Wars Pinball from Zen Studios. And man, I couldn't be more excited for this one. This is like two of my loves meshing together. I love Star Wars and I love VR Pinball, especially the VR Pinball the way Zen does it. So. I can't wait to see this one. I can't wait to get in there and customize my fan cave. I can't wait to check out all the new tables like the Mandalorian. So a lot of us got our first look at this during the Oculus Game Showcase. And man, it's been a long couple of weeks waiting for the drop date, but it's here. So let's jump in and let's take a look at Star Wars Pinball. All right, here we are in my fan cave. So, you know, I've only played this once and I really haven't had a chance to really customize anything. But right off the bat, man, we're just going to take a little quick tour of the fan cave before we get some uh, pinball. So they've, they've really outdone themselves on the fact that you can customize this space any way you like it. And they've already got some great stuff sitting around. But obviously there are places for all of your achievements to go, your probably going to get some like collectible action figures or things that you can stack on these on these uh, tables and man there's already all sorts of great models up in here <laughs> Uh, this is just, this is a Star Wars fan's dream. <laughs> you got the R2 box and you can unlock music. Now, you guys may notice this is silent um, on this video. Obviously, as a, a YouTuber, I cannot play any sort of uh, licensed music and Star Wars music. Disney would come down on me like a brick shit house. So there's no way I, I could do that. But rest assured, when you're in here having your experience, man, you're going to have all that beautiful John Williams music going on in the background. And, and like I said, you know, you can even unlock tracks and, and put them right here in your jute box. So got the, the hollow chest table from the Millennium Falcon. Um, can't go upstairs, unfortunately. The, that's just there. It looks like we're going to have a poster slot here. Got Jabba over here. Uh, got the TV action going on. And this is obviously where you can change things. And, you know, one thing I will say about the music, if you are a fellow streamer and you didn't catch this, uh, that is really cool that Zen added the mute licensed music button so that we all don't face copyright strikes. So, all right, without further ado, that's a little look at the fan cave. Let's go ahead and get at it. So, you know, there, there are about eight tables in general in the game, and I'm not going to go through each and every one of these guys. I want to leave some mystery for some of these tables for those of you who buy the game. Uh, but, you know, I am definitely Definitely going to start here with the Mandalorian. Uh, that has been my favorite part of Star Wars since the originals. So I can't wait to see this one, man. Let's go. Okay, so we got classic mode, we got arcade modes. So let's go ahead and go classic mode. Oh, nice. Oh, cool. Oh, okay. So before we start, I've got to get a little look in the table here. That is one of the cooler things that I think you can do in the in the Zen uh, pinball VR games here is, is that you can actually like really get up in here and take a look at all the little details in the tables. I mean, some of this stuff is just intricate and nuts. I mean, like these little tiny, little tiny freaking beams of light here is just great so all right let's go ahead hey mando what's up buddy oh hey mando what's up buddy and the child not not baby yoda i'm not calling him baby yoda because this is the child you know don't stop y'all stop calling him baby yoda so all right nice So it's cool that it puts the hands on the flippers here, but I really wish I could actually just use my hands on the flippers. I mean, you know, I can tell you a couple of things that I really feel like this would benefit from is, is obviously the 120 hertz, because I will say as much as I love Zen pinball games in VR, the, the mobile ports are always a little laggy compared to their PC compatriots, you know? 
I know. I, I'm trying to talk, so I'm not really paying attention. Um, but uh, yes, I know. It's very much below expectations. But once again, I'm trying to talk to these folks, and I'm not paying attention. So what I was saying here is, is this would definitely benefit from an upgrade to the new 120 hertz that we have in the v28 update here because obviously that would make the ball roll a lot smoother the the flippers would be a lot smoother so come on zen give us that 120 hertz love for star wars pinball because it definitely deserves it so other than that you know it's still not hard to play but you will probably get a much higher quality experience on the pc both graphically and performance wise just wanted to say just wanted to say that out loud so all right let's get back to it you see you let me pull that but then you take my hands away and you just stick them on the flippers so hand tracking would be the other thing that would be awesome oh no no you know, if we could get hand tracking up in here and 120 hertz, this would be the game to be. On, what the... You what? You know, I obviously no, don't, you know, scary. but that's okay. Let's go! Alright, let's redeem myself on my last ball. Yes, got the Razor Crest. Yeah, that's right, baby. Nice. Nice. Where'd the ball go? Oh. Oh, whoa. Okay, whoa, I was smashing buttons and I didn't even realize that you could do this, but now I'm really down in the table, but I'm down in the table while it's playing. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I want your next job too. I want your armor. Oh, whoa, okay, whoa. Oh, now it's like all centered. Oh, this is a trip. I don't know that you could actually really play the game like this, but whoa. And ironically, it's a lot smoother like this. Come on. Thank God for the save. All right, let's go back out of that. That was pretty cool, though. Okay. Nice. I want a lot of things. I want my next job. I'm still unemployed, Mando. It's been almost a year. Come on, somebody hire me. Just, just saying. We'll work for VR. No, just, just kidding. Money. We'll work for money. Don't actually get what I'm supposed to be doing here. Lock is lit. Lock is lit. Come on. No! Oh! oh man, no, obviously I don't, Mando, because I, I failed, bro. So, see ya. I know, I know. Well, I know. The child's like disappointed, you're disappointed, everybody's disappointed. I'm gonna take my baby and go. Okay, so... That was a weird animation. Looks like we got a little glitch there. I think he was supposed to pick up the child. Uh, <laughs> so, anyway, I don't care. That was cool. Alright, so there was a little bit of gameplay from Star Wars Pinball, and you know, I gotta hand it to Zen Studios, those guys have outdone themselves with this one. It's amazing how 
awesome this fan cave is and how much you can customize. I know you didn't get to see a lot of that in this video, but trust me, man, there's tons of stuff that you can do in there. So I will recommend this game. I, you know, obviously I'm a Star Wars fan and I'm a pinball fan. Um, I will give a caveat though on the Quest 2. It looks good, it runs good enough, but I'm really looking forward to the PC release as I have with all of the other Zen Studio titles. It, on the mobile, for some reason, they just never seem smooth enough for me. So the, the flippers have a little bit of lag, the ball has a little bit of lag, and the graphics seem just a hair muted for my taste. I really want that crisp, ultra sharp graphics that we're going to get on the PC side. And, you know, as I said in the video, I really implore Zen Studios to consider adding the 120 hertz mode to this title. It, it, all titles that I can think of, this one would benefit from it greatly because of the enhanced speed of the ball and the flippers. So that's it for me guys. I am out. Thank you so much for watching the video today and if you made it this far you know that means the world to me and obviously if this was your first time coming by the channel thank you so much for coming by to check out what I do here at VR Gamer Dude. If you liked what you saw today, you know the drill. Smash subscribe, ring the bell, and help me get to that magical 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2021. I'll see you guys in the next one. This is Don, signing off.